light I'm a one-way motorway I'm the road that drives away And follows you back home Light I'm a street light shining I'm a white light blind and bright And burning off and on It's times like this you learn to live again. It's times like these you give and give again. It's times like these you learn to love again. It's times like these time and time again. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Donnie here with On The Record, and today I am reviewing something I just picked up. It's the TC Helicon uh, Play Acoustic. Uh, super cool pedal, processor, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'm going to give you a quick demo and kind of run you through some of the features here in just uh, one second. Hey guys, Donnie here with On The Record. So uh, I recently picked up um, a TC Helicon Play Acoustic. Uh, if you haven't seen these, uh, you're going to see them soon. So I'll, I'll uh, have a, another camera going down on the floor so you can see it. But uh, I've been meaning to... Well, let me back up a second. So my band, uh, we do full shows, you know, with drums, guitars, and all that. And then we also do... A, acoustic duo, duos probably about 40 percent of our shows are that um and i've been meaning i i have a smaller pedal train that i use for acoustic shows uh and i just keep robbing stuff off of my big board and i was getting kind of tired of doing that so i've been working on building my acoustic board exactly the way i want it so i don't have to do that anymore and i was looking for a pedal that um well I initially I was looking for just something a, a better DI than what I had for my acoustic and I stumbled across this thing um, and it's amazing it's uh, basically what it does is it gives you uh, several TC electronics effects in in one box uh, for your guitar in addition to that it also does vocal processing so um, let me get a camera down on the floor and uh, we can kind of go through how this works and and give you guys the ins and outs of it a little bit it's there's a lot to it so I'm not going to go over everything but just enough to to uh, you know give you an idea if, if this is something that would be useful to you or not so uh, back in just a second okay guys so I, I've got uh, I actually set my iPhone up so it's recording uh, my pedal board so I can talk and talk to you guys and work this thing and show you how it kind of works in the meantime so um, right now I have you'll notice there's three buttons on this thing um, you've got uh, basically down up and then this hit button what this hit button does is you can control any aspect of the the vocals so if you want to add harmonies you can have that so that it only turns on when you hit the hit button um, the a, a lot of these buttons are multifunctional uh, this one will scroll you through the the up button or the down button will simply scroll scroll you through presets since I take it off hold here so you notice the uh, you notice that when I when I uh, there we go you notice that when I take the hit button off you can hear reverb I, I've got reverb set up on on my voice right now so which is why it sounds a little weird since I'm not singing but um, anyway I'll, I'll back off the mic and just use the iPhone mic to to talk about the the pedal itself so um, you've got three you've got six buttons on the side here you've got vocal effects guitar effects mix um, favorite genre setup 
Then you've got a back and forth button, a store button, and then a, and then a back button here. And then you've got three foot switches. So like I said, this is the hit button here. Uh, this serves two functions. The first function is whatever you have set up for, for your vocals, uh, for your vocal preset. Like right now I have this set up to for reverb with high and low harmonies. But it's only gonna do the high and low harmonies when I turn the button on. Or when you know when I hit the hit the hit button. God, that's a dumb name for a button. Anyway. Um <laughs> I guess it makes sense, but um, the thing about uh, harmonies especially is the way this pedal works is it actually listens, it's got a microphone where it's listening to ambient, um, to the ambient room, and it will listen to your chords and figure out what your harmonies need to be based on that. Now you can hard code it to, to do a key, um, but that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> I like just being able to play and have it automatically harmonized. So this is what it sounds like without the harmonies. It's times like these to learn to live again. It's times like these you give and give again. And this is with harmonies. It's times like these you learn to love again. It's times like these you give and give again. It's times like these you learn to love again. It's times like these time and time again. Okay, so you get you get the idea on that. So let's look at some of the other presets. So basically what I've done with this, this thing comes with like a hundred presets on it already. So you can play around for hours with what it's got loaded. And then you can go and, and uh, override one of those presets and put whatever you want in here. So let me kind of give you guys an example. Well, that's gonna be a little difficult. Let me make two videos out of this. So let me do one today and I'll do a tabletop tomorrow that kind of shows how to go through it, but at any rate, you're going to use um, you're going to use the the lit, the buttons that are lit up to go ahead and and modify all of your settings for your guitar and your vocals, uh, and then you're going to store them as a preset, and then you can name them whatever you want to name them. Um, let me go back to one. Now, what I've done with mine is, is I've already set up uh, you know the five or six presets that I'm interested in using in a show. And the nice thing is, if you tag those as a favorite, if, when you hit the genre button, you can actually go and tell it, I don't want everything, I just want my favorites. So then the only thing that shows up are, yeah, I've got like six or seven here, seven at the most. So I've got, this one is, is reverb with high harmony only. And that's based on, the, that's, the high harmony is for the hit button only, it's not all the time. Then I've got reverb with high and low harmonies. Then I've got reverb, chorus, delay. So that's, uh, this, this particular preset is really just set up for my guitar. Uh, and then I've got, let's see, dry with double vokes. So let me give you an idea what that sounds like. So here it is, off. It's times like these you learn to live again. It's times like these you give and give again. Okay, so this would be doubled. It's times like these you learn to love again. It's times like these you give and give again. It's times like these you learn to love again It's times like these Time, time again So it literally just doubles your, your, your voice um, You can actually set that to be a little bit sloppier If you want it to, you know, to sound a little bit more natural You can make it as tight as you want Or, you know, have them spaced out a little bit So it literally sounds like you're, you're double tracking. Um, so then the next one is 
reverb chorus layer, I already did that one. And then I did that one. And this is just reverb, reverb with double. So I've got reverb on my guitar, and then um, when I hit the hit button, it'll double my vocals. Uh, honestly, the one I've been using the most is the first one I showed you, which is the uh, reverb with high-low harmonies. Now let's talk about the guitar effects. So here's what you get with this pedal. So let me let me go ahead and state that this pedal costs, uh, I paid $265 for it on Amazon, okay, uh, with Prime Shipping. Um, I bought TC, TC Helicon makes a three switch and a six switch, um, uh, basically a foot switch. Um, theirs, their three switch was huge. Like I wouldn't have enough room on my board for everything I want without getting a bigger board and I, I don't want to do that. So, uh, what I did was I got one of the Digitech FSX or FS3X switches. Works fine, does the exact same thing, it's wired identically. Um, so let me go through the, the guitar effects. Here, here's what you get. In the pedal itself, built in, you get a TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb pedal. Um, fully loaded, just, just like you had one on your board, right? Uh, you also get a TC Electronic Corona Chorus pedal. You get a TC Electronic Body Res. Now for those of you who don't know what a Body Res pedal is, hold on, that helps. Turn that off. There we go. For those of you who don't know what a Body Res pedal is, basically it's, uh, it's a pedal that TC came out with to EQ, <laughs> my kids are home, uh, to, to EQ acoustics. So it makes your acoustic sound better, right? That's essentially it. Um, it's got several different parameters on it. You can change to tweak it to, you know, whatever guitar you have. Um, and then it also has a TC electronic flashback. So it's got a delay built in. These buttons you can actually customize to be whatever you want it, want them to be. So the way I've got mine set up is these do all the normal functions that it's def that's default, right? And then my uh, um, extra foot switch here. This button is my tap tempo. This button is set up to turn delay on and off for guitar only. And then this button is a boost. Oh yeah, that's right. You also get a TC Electronic Spark in here, uh, boost. Uh, it's not, they're not, they're not calling it the Spark, but it, it's a boost pedal. Um, so, you know, if you're doing a lead on acoustic or whatever, just... Helps if I hit that. Okay, this is without boost. And you can also customize. You, you gotta hold, you gotta hold the hit button when you're talking to the audience, just long enough for the tuner to come up and then it'll just go, then the mic will just feed straight to the mixer, however you got it set up. Um, <laughs> if you don't, you'll be talking in reverb to people and they're gonna look at you funny, like you're probably looking at me right now. Um, anyway, you can set the, the, uh, the decibel value on the boost, obviously. Um, let's see, so that covers the, that covers the acoustic and the effects you get with that. It also has a tuner built in. I don't know if my iPhone is picking it up or not, but uh, it's when you hold and hit this the hit button, uh, it, not only does it remove the, pr the vocal processing from the mic, it also um, automatically brings up a tuner so you can sit there and tune while you're talking to, the, to your audience between songs or whatever. So um, as far as vocal effects go, so obviously it has harmonies, it has doubling, um, it's got like a megaphone kind of sound to it, it's, it's fun, it's just a fun thing. It's got hard tune, which is basically auto tune if you want to sound like that. Um, it also has voice kind of pitch correction that's not auto tune, it's very natural and you can give it a percentage. So I keep mine on about 30 to 40 percent. It's 
look, if you're singing off key, it's it's not going to help you. But if you're you know if you're a good singer already, it just makes you sound that much better. So, um, or at least you know a singer that can hold a tune. That's how I would consider myself sometimes. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, you get uh, doubling harmonies, high low. Um, I think there's a chorus effect in there too. There's a ton of stuff. Like I said, I'll make an I'll make a second video and release that one to to later this week. I'm, I'm not going to commit to tomorrow. It's a busy week, but um, we'll just do, I'll just do a desktop and go through all of the settings with you. Now the other cool feature with this is, and you have to download the latest firmware for this. And if you go and look at any other YouTube videos about this pedal. Um, they'll tell you that the guitar effects are all global and the vocal effects are all per the preset. That used to be the case, but with the new firmware download, that's not true. So what I mean by that is before with this pedal, you set up your guitar with whatever effects you wanted and that was that. You, you didn't have any option. You couldn't, you couldn't assign them to the presets. Now you can, it's all, everything is all based on the preset. So if I want to have reverb on my guitar on one preset, but I want it to be dry on another preset, I can do that. It's easy enough. Um, there's, a, there's a gain button on the left side of the pedal. And what that does is it, uh, it, it, it adjusts the gain for the mic only. To adjust the gain for your guitar, there's a setting in in uh, the guitar, uh, no, on the setup button. Um, and then last but not least, uh, this thing is a looper as well. So um, let me kind of give you an, an example of what that looks like. So to get to the looper... <laughs> So get to the looper, all you do is press and hold these two buttons, okay, and then when you're ready, and it'll, it'll show you, I know that may not show up on the, on the screen, but it'll show you what the buttons mean. So um, this one is, pl is play and record, this one is stop and erase. So if I play something, and then I just do it again, now say I don't like that. I can just hold the stop button and it will erase that for me. Now I'm back to normal here. So uh, let me just throw in a loop and kind of give you an idea of how this works. So. got I'm not real happy with that loop right so all I gotta do is hit stop hold that stop button and it'll erase that and we can try it one more time I'm 
I'm not a very good looper. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. You can all, you can also continuously dub over. So, uh, and the looper works with the microphone as well. So if you want to make you know kind of drum noises or whatever, you can do that and then just keep layering on on and on and on. A and I guess once you spend enough time getting good at it, you might sound like ten thousand times better than me. So then to get out of that, just hit the hit button, and it takes you right back out again. So hold the hit button down, and that that puts uh, the mic straight through so you're not getting any weird effects while you're trying to talk to your audience or whatever. Um, you know, I can see I can see potential to use this for recording in some situations, but mainly this is, this is really a tool that's geared for live performers. Um, being in an acoustic duo and doing maybe 20% of the singing, mostly I play lead or har or uh, harmonica or, you know, something. Um, this is a super handy pedal for me. If I were a solo artist um, playing acoustic gigs, this would be an amazing pedal for me. It is an amazing pedal, but, I mean, this thing would just knock my socks off. Um the th I, I've played with this live one time already, and I can tell you that it's just, you know, even if you're a good musician playing live, having something like this with, you know, just that little extra, um, I don't think the audience really knows what's going on. They just know that you sound really damn good. Um, so it, take it for what it's worth. Um, I think this is a, a stellar buy. If... All you use this for is the guitar, are the guitar effects. Um, you're getting three TC Electronic pedals that would cost you, well, two of them alone, new, would cost you 300 So, and you're getting f like five um, it, just in that alone. Then you add in the vocal processing, uh, the built-in tuner. Um, yeah, it's... They, they, they did it right with this. And the nice thing is they're constantly updating... Uh, their firmware on this and, and adding new things. I don't even think the delay was available at one point, but um, the form factor of the pedal itself hasn't really changed much, but um, th they keep packing it full of um, full of goodies. <laughs> so, um, you know what? I'll leave it right there for now. And like I said, I'll, I'll we'll do a desktop um, later this week. That'll be a little bit simpler to set up, and I won't have to worry about having two cameras and all that. But... Um, that's it. It's the TC Helicon Play Acoustic, uh, 265 bucks on Amazon, brand new. Um, and it does vocal processing. It does, uh, it does a ton of acoustic guitar effects, makes your acoustics sound pretty good. And I highly recommend it. So, um, hey, if you guys like, like this video or like some of the other videos, please make sure and, uh, subscribe below, uh, as you can tell, I'm always updating this, so there, there'll always be new stuff coming up. Um, that way you'll get notified straight away whenever I do release a new video. So, um, hey, hope you guys had a happy 4th. It's the, it's the 5th today, so I uh, hope everybody had a happy 4th of July. And uh, keep your fingers on the strings. Keep playing music, guys. All right, I will see you next time.